This is Travis Holmes with your Viking report for November 30th. At 8-0, the men's basketball team became the only team in the country with eight wins after defeating Robert Morris 58-53 Monday night. The win was preceded by a 64-52 victory at Akron on Wednesday night. Norris Cole led the Vikings charge against the Zips with 19 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists as he was one of four Vikings to score in double figures. The Vikings returned to the Wolstein Center to host St. Bonaventure Saturday night, and although the team struggled offensively in the first half, they took the lead into the break on this buzzer beater. Four seconds of the paint, underneath Cam Chick, shoots, scores it off the glass! Buzzer sounds, Cleveland State's going to go to the locker room with a 24-23 lead. Cleveland State would continue to impose its will on the Bonnies defensively in the second half, scoring 19 points on 24 St. Bonaventure turnovers and holding them to 34% shooting for the game in a 69-51 victory. Cleveland State led by as many as 22 in the Robert Morris game and were led by Norris Cole's season-high 29 points. The game would eventually come down to one final possession. Looks. Looks, lobs, right sideline, catching it, Charles. Out top, Johnson, long triple over Kamchick. Nope, rebound tipped out, loose. Jones has got it, trying to go up. Harmon blocked it. Cole's got it, seven seconds, he's grabbed. The Vikings open league play this week at Green Bay Thursday and at Milwaukee on Saturday. The women's team won two of its three games last week. The action started with a 58-50 win over Toledo at the Wolstein Center Tuesday night. The Vikings were led by Shea Winton's double-double with 10 points and 11 boards and led by as many as 17 against the Rockets. Cleveland State hosted Florida A&M next and defeated the Rattlers 67-49. The Vikings outscored the Rattlers in the paint 42-20 thanks to the efforts of Destiny Blue who finished with 17 points. Adams up top to Honesty King, King to Garland. She finds Destiny Blue inside. Destiny Blue turnaround jumper, nothing but the bottom. The win improved Cleveland State's record to 5-0 and as they hit the road to take on Indiana Sunday afternoon. The Vikings forced 24 Hoosier turnovers with 14 steals and built an early lead but could not seal the win in falling 66-56. Cleveland State returns home to the Wolstein Center Friday night as they host Western Michigan at 7 p.m. in their only contest of the week. The wrestling team put on a dominant performance in its first dual meet of the season at John Carroll Tuesday night. The Vikings defeated the Blue Streaks 30-7 and won 8 of the 10 matches in the meet. Robbie Michaels earned the only pin of the night on his opponent in only 2 minutes and 40 seconds, and Josh Palavota also put on a clinic in defeating his opponent 18-3. Cleveland State has two more dual meets this weekend at Eastern Michigan Friday and at Northwestern Saturday. And after a week off, the swimming and diving teams are back in action as they host the City College Meet Tuesday at Busby Natatorium against Canisius, John Carroll, and Notre Dame College. This is Travis Holmes with your Viking Report for November 30th, and for the latest on Cleveland State Athletics, check out csuvikings.com.